Now let's continue. What is this joint? As I have write down, it's articulationes carpo metacarpe. Term art with double T means plural. Articulationes. Not articulatio, singular, but articulationes, plural. Because there are several such kind of uh, joints. Four of them are similar. And uh, we can say that they have uh, geometrical shape as articulatio plana. Articulatio plana. And uh, we know that plane joint has three axes. It means three axial joint. Three axial. For demonstrate the movements in this joint, we ought to do this way. I make fixation of the hand and you can see that movements are quite restricted but nevertheless we can do it in different directions. So articulatio plana triaxial joint. It isn't obli obligatory for us to know all the ligaments. It's enough to know the main name of the joint and demonstrate it on our specimen, Articulatia carpa metacarpa. So we can say that four bones of the metacarpus form this joint. But there is fifth joint which has different name. It's articulatio in singular articulatio, carpo, metacarpia, pollicis, articulatio, carpo, metacarpia, pollicis. What does it mean, pollex? Pollex means thumb. So, for first finger, for thumb, we need term articulatio carpa metacarpia pollicis. Please try to find in your own hand where is located this joint. It's located here. Is it seen here? Not here, but here. Try to move first finger, try to move thumb, and with its movement, you can feel the movements in the connections between exactly os trapezium and first metacarpal bone. There is a point of view that due to this unusual joint, the 
man became man. Because only man has, in comparison will, with all another animals, even with monkeys, only man can take something in wrist, in hand, this way. So, due to this articulatio carpa metacarpia pollicis, we can hold in our hand any devices. For example, hammer and so we can work. And, uh, and other animals, monkeys, for example, when they climb on the tree, they use such kind of fixation. Not such, but this way. So, it's due to absence of articulatio carpa metacarpia pollicis. This articulation is articulatio cellaris. Cellaris. Uh, cellaris. It means saddle joint. And we know that sandal joint is two axial. In this joint we can make oppositio and repositio. Opposition, reposition. Opposition in the situation when we oppose thumb to little finger. In this movement, our first metacarpal bone is in situation of opposition, and uh, another movement is repositio, opposition, repositio, and second is uh, abductio, adductio, abductio, adductio. Abductio and adductio. Again, we don't obliged to remember all small ligaments. Nevertheless, they consist in this region in large amount. And uh, Next joints are here. What they are. Try to find these joints on your other hand. Here there. Here there. These are phalanges, phalanx, phalanges, proximal, medial, and distal. So, this joint called articulatio metacarpo phalangea. Articulatio, in plural again, articulationes metacarpo. Phalangea. This is 
result of plural, metacarpo phalangea. We, not, we ought to know the geometrical shape of this joint and as we see to the caput of metacarpal bones we can see the spheroid shape of these joints. So spheroid, articulatia spheroide. Articulationes spheroide in plural. Articulationes spheroide. So if it is articulationes spheroide, it means it's three axial. And uh, what they are, these movements? According to frontal axis, flexio extensio. According to the sagittal axis, abductio adductio. And what about third axis? It's very interestingly. We need to do this way. We have no own muscles which provide these movements, it isn't necessary for men to rotate each finger, but such possibility is possible. So let's write down flexio extensio. Abductio, adductio, and rotatio, rotation. Rotation, you know, also consists of two different movements, lateral and medial rotation pronatio and supinatio, but according to this joint we don't use this term pronation and supination and we can say only rotatio. And uh, now the last joints, the joints between Phalanx, interphalangeal joints, articulationes interphalangea. Articulationes interphalangea, they consist of proximal joints and distal joints. We have uh, three phalanges in each finger except thumb. So, in fingers from second to fifth, there are two such kind joints. Articulationes inter phalangea. Again, in the end of the word, this diphthong AE and before letter E. Uh, Interphalangia, proximal and distal. Proximalis, prox abbreviation, et, it means end, distalis. Proximalis and distalis. 
First question, what we ask ourselves, what type of this joint? It's simple joint, simple joint. It means articulatio simplex. Simple joint means articulat simplex. Articulatio simplex. And only two articulating surfaces and geometrical shape is ginglimus. Is ginglimus. Or pivot joint. Gin -li -mus. Ginglimus has only one axis, one axial, and only one possibility to movements. Flexio and extensio. Flexio and extensio. Flexio, extensio. Okay. So we finished to study of joints of upper extremity. Thank you.